You shouldn't do that. You're not supposed to brush a dog in a room where we're preparing food. Why not? It won't do no harm. Not here, you pie can. People. Dog hairs, it's unhygienic, isn't it? Not Monica. She's dead cleaner. I tell you what, she has more baths than Jack does. Hey, I heard that. Oh, I was going to bring you a cup of tea in bed, seeing as it's your birthday. 64 today. You hope you're not going to be a misery. He hates birthdays. No, I, I used to. But I love them now. You see, a couple of months ago, son, I discovered something worse than getting old. Oh, yeah, what's that? Not getting old. <laughs> oh, I tell you, when they took me in that hospital, I was about that far off falling off my twig. Well, I changed my mind. I like it being here, but you do tend to think about the things that you would miss, wouldn't you? Like uh, the racing page, smell of ale, football on the telly. <laughs> and me? You'd miss me an awful. Of course you would. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to make sure there's plenty of years left in you yet. Yeah, we're going to grow all together. The best is yet to come. Now, Luke, I'm in a good mood, Vera. Don't start talking me out of it. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. Tonight, we'll go down the Rovers and have a little celebration. You too, son. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you what, seeing as it's your birthday, you can have a couple of pints. What, a proper pint? Yeah, I love high. Oh, no, give us a kiss. No, hang, hang on, Pete. No, no, no. Come on, give no, us a no, kiss. No, no, give over. You spilled no, me tea. It's your birthday. You couldn't actually throw a bucket of water on him, eh? The dog! I mean, trouble is with seven days a week business. It really ties you down. Yeah, well, when it gets to dinner time, I'll shut for the day. How about shutting early for once? About 11 o'clock. I mean, it's your business. You can make clothes in town whenever you want, can't you? Yeah, I suppose I can, really. Why? Are we going somewhere? Yeah, a magical mystery tour. Mm, mm, that sounds think. good. Morning, Rita. Morning. Morning, Sharon. Right, uh, well, uh, one or two things to do, and uh, I'll come by for you about 11 o'clock, then. OK. See you later. Bye. Bye. Um, I'll be closing up early today, Rita. Oh, you loose trade. Oh, I'm not bothered. Ian's taking me out. Taking you in, more like. That's his usual game. <sighs> Don't know where we're going. It's a surprise. Always good at those. Like the one you played with Natalie Barnes. I dare say you're in for plenty more like that. Ooh, knock, knock, knock. You're forever swiping, aren't you, Rita? Yes, cos there's plenty to aim at. Well, I'm sick of it. Every chance you get, you're putting that knife in. Well, I tell you this, I've had enough. That fella at the fireworks, you know, he was with those first aiders. Which one do you mean? The wimpy one. Don't he own the cafe your mum works at? A whim, yeah. His name's Roy Candies, and he's not a wimp. In fact, he's anything but. Sorry. Are you watching this? No, not really. Oh, good. You can peel some potatoes for dinner, then. Enough for five, OK. Mum, we're just going upstairs to play some CDs. Mm, well, it didn't look like it to me. No, honestly, Candice wants to hear my new five CD. Sarah Lou, we don't ask you to do much, you know. Peeling some potatoes would be a great help. Mum. Oh, I'll peel the spuds. Oh, thanks, Martin. Right. Martin, I wanted Sarah Lou to do it. It's all right. I'm not doing anything. It's not the point. Gail, who do you want to row with now, me or Sarah Louise? with anyone. Well, you could have fooled me. I know you'd like me to approve of this man that you've married. His name's Ian. But I don't. And I never will. Well, you've made that pretty obvious. You never stopped slagging him off. Because when it comes to him, you've switched your brain off and buried your head in the sand. <sighs> you can't scrub out what he did to you. Oh, it's none of your business, Rita. It's between me and Ian. He's my husband, and I'm sick of hearing you rubbish him. What would you like me to do? Pretend that I think he's a lovely fella? <laughs> I can't stand here day in, day out, while you make nasty remarks about Ian. I'm going to have to take somebody on who just won't give me all this aggro. What do you mean? Well, it's impossible the way things are between us, isn't it? Are you saying you'd like me out of this shop? What I'm saying is, Rita, this is my business now. Now, I don't have to employ anybody who slags my husband off every chance she gets. I'm sorry I upset you. Whatever I said, I said because I care about you. Rita, I've got to put my husband first, all right? Now, you've got to understand that, because if you can't... Well...
Komm hin. Ah ja. Listen, you two. This is Janice's idea, not mine. We guess that. You don't go in for dinner parties, do you? No. I'd sooner be down the pub. You won't tell Janice, will you, about my little learner? Oh, don't worry. We won't say anything. Not if you keep your promise about taking her away for a little break. Yeah, well, I've been thinking about that. It's the wrong time of the year. It'd be a waste of money, wouldn't it? You promised. Hey, Mum. Oh, hi, you love. Spider. Well, Les, this is nice, isn't it, eh? Having family round for dinner. Oh, you, uh, you did remember about me and Toya being vegans, didn't you? You'll get no rabbit food round here, sunshine. You're getting sausage and mash. Oh, taking a notice. I've got some special sausages for you two. Vegan food? It's like non-alcoholic lager. You just make sure that what I get is the real thing. Hey, Mum, how did you like Leslie's surprise? What surprise? Shut up, Howard Sawyer. Oh, he's given me a few surprises, him, in his time. I've not enjoyed any of them. Oh, this is a really nice one. Well, I've let it slip out now. You might as well tell her. Tell me what? Oh, what is it? He's been saving up for a special treat for you. Les, saving up to spend on me? Yeah, a weekend in a nice hotel. Oh, give over. Les, he don't do out nice, him, like that. What do you mean? I'm a caring, warm-hearted human being, me. We're going away, you and me. So no argument. Oh, Les, that's wonderful. Come here. <laughs> I told her straight, she's been a right pain since you and me got married. The trouble is, you're working with her all day in show. You get home and she's in next door flat. That's too much, Sharon. Aye, true enough. Anyway, where are we going? Here. Yeah. Melbourne. See that house over there? The one with the for sale sign? Aye. Right. In fact, let's have a look inside. <gasps> Agents meeting us. Are you serious? Yeah. <gasps> Three bedrooms, on suite bathroom. Nice area. It's got the lot. It's a good place to bring up kids, this. <gasps> you want to look? Yeah! <laughs> right, son. You wash your hands? Yeah. Good lad. Let's have a look. Yes. Sarah Lou, Candice, I'm putting dinner out. We're going out, Mum. Yeah, well, you can have your dinner before you go. Oh, we're not very hungry, are we, Candice? No, not really. You saw I was making it. Why didn't you say something? I don't know. I never thought. You never thought? Well, I'm not wasting good food and the money it costs. Oh, listen, you can have it later. We'll warm it up, OK? Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Mum. See ya. Uh, All right. Mind how you go, girls. Bye. Yeah. Thanks, Martin. You were a great support. Oh, well, what we're going to do? Stand over them while we eat. Everyone's sat around the table, miserable. I would just like this family to sit down together once in a while. Yeah, and if you make an ordeal of it, what's the point? Oh, come on. What's the big deal, anyway? Huh? Just because you've forgotten what it's like to be a teenager. Because in my case, it's such a long time ago. Is that right, Martin? Oh. I love the kitchen. Yeah. I shouldn't be saying that, really, should I? Don't worry, Mrs. Bentley. We shan't put the price up. <laughs> That's not, no. It's high enough already. Eighty-nine, nine hundred. How much? Oh, look at the garden. Oh, it's a nice garden. Oh, that'll mm. get your hands dirty for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see upstairs? Oh, yes, yes. please. Yeah. Driveway. Just yeah. through here. You could always repaint if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. We could do anything, couldn't we? <laughs> no, I like this. Yeah. Oh, look at that carpet mm. on the mm. stairs. Oh, it's a bit expensive, though, isn't it? Well, it's very much in line with what these properties are fetching. Yeah. Mm. The bathroom. Oh. Ian, look. Hey. Oh. Bedroom's through here. Wow. <coughs> so what do you reckon, Sharon? Do you like it? Yes, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bit too much, though. <laughs> we'll have to think about it. Well, as your first-time buyers and you don't have a property to sell, there might be some negotiation on the price, but, uh, well, there's a lot of interest in the house, I have to tell you. Mm. Well, like I said, um, we'll have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> here we are, then. Hi, here we are. You know, you've only got to say, Gary. You can turn around and go home. This is home, shit. Sure. Oh, 
I'll carry you back. <laughs> oh, them kiddies are now. Oh, it's lovely to see you. How are you? Oh, well, well we're doing all right, yeah. Uh, that's what we're doing here. I thought it was about time we came home. love, aren't you? So how are you, Gary? You know, in yourself, like? I'm functioning, Vera. Yeah. I tell you what, it's cold in here. You'll have to have this house warm for these babies. I know, to look after them. Of course you do. But you could have posted a key, you know. I could have had a house all ready for you. Well, I haven't made my mind up. I didn't decide till last night. Yeah, we'd hoped he'd stop a bit longer. Why well, there's people who really cared about him. <laughs> I'd stayed at my mum's long enough. It was time to come back. I've got a bit of time off work anyway, so I'll be here for a while. Oh, well, that's good, cos I could deal with company. Anyway, listen, love, I'll have to go, cos I've got dinner on, you know, for our Jack and Tyrone. Yeah, love. Come on, champ. <clears throat> but listen, if there's all you need, you only have to say. <coughs> Just tell me, me or our Jack, you only have to ask. Oh. Right, love, I'll be off. Thanks, Phil. See ya. See you then. Judith. I knew it was going to be tough coming back, but it's got to be done. It's like... It's like she's still here. But she's not. I don't know why you didn't stop at my mum's for longer. In fact, I don't even know why you came back here at all. What's here for you now? Memories. Me and Judy lived here. Now it's just me and the kids. I don't know how you can eat that veggie muck. It tastes of nothing. I didn't know you tried it. I don't need to try it. I know. Let's have a taste. Mm. Tastes exactly like what we're having. You wouldn't yeah. know the difference. Oh, yes, I would. Because proper sausage, meat sausage, has gristle in it. I'm chewing a bit now. Oh. Don't knock it. Gristle's good for you. Builds muscle. More seeing your head from the sound of it. Right, well, apple pie's coming next. Here's your plates. Thanks, love. Start. I tell you what, since me and my mum made dinner, why don't you and Les do the washing up? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. OK, Les? Washing up's for wimps. You do what you want, but I'm no wimp. Well, if I tell me mum about the money you've been fiddling on the quiet and spending all on yourself, on your boozing and your betting... You wouldn't. Oh, no, no, she wouldn't. I would. My mum does everything. Right. Who's for pudding? Oh, that looks nice, Janice Flower. I'll tell you what. Why don't me and Spider do the washing up for you after? Are you feeling all right? Hey, Betty, what? did you know Gary Mallet's come back home? No, since when? Well, I was just telling Ashley, his brother brought him back in the car, you know, with kiddies. Oh. Hey, being back in the house, you know, it'll bring it all back to him. <laughs> I mean, when I think about what happened to Judy, it was me and Ashley getting married and she was there on her own. Oh, it upsets me, what it must do to Gary. I think I'll go and see him. Do you want to come with me? Um, no, I think it's a bit too soon. You go by yourself, Ash. Yeah, out and that's for the best. I don't think his brother would like people crowding in on him. Mm. Yeah, I'll see you later. See, see you later. Love. Yeah, watch me shopping. Yeah. It is a beautiful house and I love it, but it's an awful lot of money, Ian. Yeah, well, you get what you pay for. And if you want that good a house, well... Mm. Yeah, house hunting, are you? Yeah, well, we're just looking around at the moment. Yeah. Went to see this one this morning. Very nice. Oh, lovely price and all. <laughs> you also yeah. what better for that? <laughs> well, not necessarily. Hi, Ashley. Come on. Hi, Shane. How's Gary? Well, he's holding it together, but he's not himself. Oh, hi, Gary. You're back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back. I just put the kids down for a nap. You all right? Me, yeah, I'm fine. I just want to tell you, anything me and Maxim can do, anything, whatever it is, you only have to say. 
We won't be troubling you and Maxine. You've got your own life to live. You won't be no trouble, Gary. We'll be glad to help. Look, I know you've had a long journey. And I don't suppose you've got much food in the house. So when twins have had a sleep, why don't you come over to our house? You and I'll shame. You can have some supper with us. We've got a couple of bits from corner shop. Come on. Maxine would love seeing aren't kids as well. We can have a good feed. Thanks. To... Look, Ashley, I'm not fit company for man the beast. I can't help it, that's just the way it is. I'll just end up making people feel as miserable as I do. Maybe in a day or two, then, eh? Oh, I knew he had something to tell you. Uh, my mum, you know Beryl. Well, she knows this woman that runs a nursery for young babies like yours. She says that they're very good. No, there'll be none of that, but no nurseries, no minders. Well, how are you going to go on going back work? Well, I can't, can I? Not unless I dump the kids, which I'm not going to do. No. It's just me and them now. I'm going to bring them up the way that Judy would have done. Look, Gary, people want to help you. That's why I'm here. That's why Ashley's offering. We can manage. I'm not asking for any charity. Hi, <laughs> Danny. What's up with you? You had an accident? <laughs> no, it was no accident. Son of a half clattered into me five minutes after kickoff. Ah, football, eh? Yeah, that's right, Sunday morning league, you know. Mind you, at least I finished the match. More than their centre half did, he retired injured, apparently. <laughs> oh, did he? Uh, long time since I played. He used to be dead keen. Were you any good? Well, never actually had Alex Ferguson pestering me, but oh, I was quite good. Why? Any chance of a game? Yeah, yeah, there might be. Oh. Listen, I'd best get back. Sorry to have dinner on the table, but I'll catch up with you later. We'll sort something out. All right, you're on. Keep you to that. See ya. How was Gary? Awful. It's like he's not really here as if he's died inside. And I know I must be feeling because if anything ever happened to you... Listen, it won't do. And we'll help Gary. Yeah, if he lets us. And nice to see you too. Hey, hey. I'm looking very dapper, if I may say so. Well, I can do when it says this stall out. <laughs> this is a new shirt for his birthday. It's your birthday. Well, many happy returns. Birthday, Jack. Well, 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 thanks. But yeah, but my main prezi. She's letting me have a couple of pints. Well, let the first one be on me. And yours, Vera. Leanne, will you bring Vera gin and tonic, please? Go on, you get oh, settled. I'll bring them that? over. See you later. Right. See you later. You're a very kind, generous person, aren't you? Yet round here they call you tough as old boots. Oh, I am. Hard as nails. Oh, yeah, soft underneath, Albert. Look, keep it to yourself. I've got my reputation to consider. Hey, uh, they told me Gary Mallet's back. Is that right? Well, I doubt we'll see him in here for a while. I thought I'd let him get settled, pop over and see him tomorrow. Well, shall I nip round now? Take him the collection we've had for him and the kids? No, no, no. Leave it for now, Vinny. Right! There you go, young man. Oh. Happy birthday. Ta Ta very much, love it. Ta very you. much. Oi! You are too young to be in this pub, not to mention your dog. Look, 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 can, can we have a special pass out tonight with it being my birthday? I mean, dog's as good as gold, and it's well house-trained, and uh, Tyrone's not so bad, neither. Thanks, Jack. Well, go on, then. Just this once. But he is underage, so no drinking, all right? Look, don't worry, Natalie. I'll keep a sharp eye on a pair of them. You can read for half an hour, Davy. It's gone nine already. I was at Candice's watching videos. Well, you might have phoned. Anyway, you better have some supper. I'll put it in the microwave. Oh, me and Candice went out for a burger. Fine! The time I've wasted cooking today. Martin, have you got nothing to say? Well, you seem to be doing all right for yourself. You're never at home these days. You're out more than you're in. No, cos whenever I do come home, there's always a row going on. Yeah, well, he wanted to know, and she told you. Yeah, Vera, love it. Get that down your neck. And that's your last pint. Yeah. And is this battle for Tyrone? Cheers, Jack, you're a good one. No, nah, get, get your hands off it, you're too young. Well, you don't drink stout, you. No, I don't, but greyhounds do. Well, if I'm too young, what about her? Well, it's different for dogs. It's good for them, isn't it? Anyway, you want to keep her fighting fit and looking good, 
for when he gets back to his proper owner. Well, I'm not giving her back. And I, want, I don't want her to go back, but we don't know what owners are, do we? Luke, we can easy enough find out if she's a registered greyhound, can't we? Well, look her, she's happy with me. Look, Tyrone, if tomorrow morning she went missing, how would you feel? Gutted. Well, how do you know there's not a kid out there right now feeling the same way? You're very quiet tonight, Jim. Sorry. Just trying to work out whether my Stephen's about to make another buck stupid mistake or not. Such as what? Well, he tells me he's got a transport job on tomorrow, shifting furniture to Brighton. Well, doesn't sound too dodgy to me. Ah, well, hold your horses. He's taken his passport. Now, it's news to me, but I never thought Brighton was in a foreign country. I see. Well, I know how you're feeling, Jim. I know what it's like worrying about what your son's up to. Excuse me. I see you later. Yes, Rita. Vodka and tonic, please. Oh, so you're not treating the newlyweds then? Eh? I am not. I can't be doing with that man. He's bad news. Well, he certainly was to me. I still get upset every time he comes in here. Well, bar him then. I would. If I only served people I like, Rita, I wouldn't do a lot of trade, would I? Love that house. It's just the type of house I've always wanted, but I can just see us in that house. Hey, you, me, and a kid. Maybe two. <laughs> We've never really talked about having children much, have we? Well, I always thought you wanted them. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. But well, I suppose I ought to be thinking about doing something about it. But we couldn't afford the size of mortgage we'd need, could we? Not for that house. Well, not with what we're earning. And if I gave up work. Yeah, but we got a valuable asset, haven't we? The business. Well, I mean, you have. What, the cabin, you mean? Hmm. Oh, yeah. But... So sell it. We get a decent price, move into that house. Then all our troubles are sold. Eh? All of them. <laughs> 